so today mainly there are two topics two lesson one of the modifiers and another one is parallel structure okay first of all we'll study what is modifier then we'll practice from the book then again we'll go to the another topic parallel structure and then again practice okay so i do the chapter chura lesson 5 and lesson 6 in your book so first of all modifier so what are modi uh, modifiers modifiers are words or phrases or clauses that provide description in sentences okay they can make either word either phrase or clauses so modifiers allow writers to take the picture that uh, picture that they have in their heads and transfer it accurately to the heads of their readers So it can be a word, a phrase, or a clause. Okay. So what? Some example of word would be cool and intelligent. Okay. Ken is the class hero. And what? What is a phrase? Like the moment Michael saw the ghost, the hair on his hand stood up. Okay. This can be a, a short phrase. His hand stood up. Shows wire. Be careful with prepositional phrases. So there are some phrases called prepositional phrases. Okay, or it can be a clause like the girl whom you spoke to a minute ago. This it the sentence in italics is the clock. Okay, whom you spoke to a minute ago. Is the clause in the sentence and it, it is a modifier. Okay, either it can be word. Either it can be phrase or it can be clause. Next, essentially modifiers breathe life into sentences. Okay, so we can understand it better. So take a look at this dead sentence. Stephen dropped his fork. Okay, this sentence has many uh, modifiers. Let's first of all read this whole sentence. Poor Stephen, who just wanted a quick meal to get through his three-hour biology lab, accidentally dropped his fork okay, on the cafeteria floor. Gasping with disgust as a tarantula wiggled out of his cheese omelet, a sight requiring a year of therapy before Stephen could eat eggs again. Okay, Now we will study many different modifiers used in this sentence. So importance of modifier modifier can be adjective or adjective clause adverb or adverb clauses absolute phrases infinite phrases participle phrases or prepositional phrases okay so the previous sentence we saw in the side previous slide so the first one is adjective so in this sentence the this poor is adjective poor stephen okay so that is uh, to mean Stephen. So this word is adjective. Then who just wanted a quick meal? Okay. Poor Stephen. Who? Who is who meaning uh, referring to Stephen? Who just wanted to want a quick meal? So it is a adjective clause. Okay. Then adverb. To get through his uh, three-hour biology lab, uh, accidentally dropped his fork on the cafeteria floor, gasping with disgust. So which word they are referring? Quickly. So what is quickly? Mm. As you quick. Okay. So quickly, I cannot find the word quickly, but I think they are referring to this word. Okay. So, adverb clause, as a tarantula wiggled out of his cheese omelet. So, okay, this, this sentence. Okay, first of all, Stephen wanted to get a quick meal. So, because he has three hour long biology lab class. And uh, during that time, he dropped his fork. Okay. Four, but I must fail this long. And 
কি করলো গ্যাসপিং সো হি ওয়াজ গ্যাসপিং উইথ ডিসগাস্ট এজ এ টারান টুলা উইগল আউট অফ হিস চিজ অমলেট ওকে দিস সেন্টেন্স ইজ এডভার্বস এডভার্ব ক্লজ ওকে ইট ইজ ডেসক্রাইবিং দ্য ভার্ব এ সাইট রিকোয়ারিং এ ইয়ার অফ থেরাপি ইয়ার অফ থেরাপি বিফোর স্টিফেন কুড ইট এক্স গ্রেইন ওকে দিস সেন্টেন্স ইজ এন एग्जांपल অফ অ্যাবসলিউট ফ্রেজ তারপর এ সাইট রিকোয়ারিং এ ইয়ার অফ থেরাপি বিফোর স্টিফেন কুড ইট বিফোর স্টিফেন কুড ইট এক্স এগেইন Okay, to get through his three-hour biology lab, it can be infinite phrase. So, this is just to give an idea that there are many types of modifiers, okay? You don't need to uh, remember all these modifiers, but I have included so that you are aware of these modifiers, okay? So, in this chapter, there are mainly uh, two modifiers in your book, dangling modifier, and another one is, I think, um misplace modifier okay so this modifier are mainly mistakes we want to avoid and these are the general more general modifiers we know okay i've included also now acha so without modifier sentences would be no fun to read so when you want to make your writing interesting make sure to use this modifiers in your writing carefully chosen well placed modifier so if we do not place this modifiers in the right appropriate way then it will be misplaced modifier okay next topic is misplaced modifier what is misplaced modifier it is a word phrase or clause that is improperly separated from the word it modifies so what it are described korte jacche but or positioning a word ba phrase ba clause boshonor positioning ta thik nei ei jonno etar meaning change hoye jacche so that kind of example is misplaced modifier because of the separation sentences with this error often found often a sound awkward ridiculous funny or confusing furthermore they can be downright illogical also so that that many basically doesn't make any sense like fragment a sentence so consider this sentence the young girl was walking the dog in a short skirt so this sentence doesn't make any sense so this can be an example of misplaced modifier so what will be the accurate sentence the dog was chasing the boy with the spiked collar another uh, wrong sentence okay spiked collar so you can see what's wrong the dog is in in a short skirt short skirt ke chalo the girl also the boy doesn't have any spiked collar so because the modifier is misplaced we have to think for a moment before we get the intended meaning so this is the correct sentence the young girl in a short skirt was walking the dog okay and the dog with the spiked collar was chasing the boy okay his collar was spiked and he was chasing this boy who was tend to cry so hence misplaced modifiers are words that because of awkward placement do not describe what the writer intend them to describe so to avoid them place modifying words such as words as close as possible to what they describe be careful with yes sir so they are referring to use this uh, more general good modifiers in our sentence to make it meaningful adjective adjective clause so so now let's see what are the what can we do to improve our sentence more so place a past participle phrase okay this and uh, it is past participle phrase what is past participle we know past and participle so any word which is part past participle we add ed to it okay kick for example i kick the uh, football what would be the past participle past participle it will be kicked so ed will be added 
So in, in this instance, angered by the football score, Paul kicked the television in the in the room. So this kick is what example of past participle. So they are uh, they are recommending us to use a past participle right before or right after the word it describe. So after describing, we want to use past participle so that it is meaningful. Write the sound as if Paul is angered by the football score. Okay. Also, so ekta dekla mutche past participle. Aita ki use karto pari adjective clause. An adjective clause begins with a word such as that, which, who, who hole person, which hole kono karon ne bolte sir data, that by anything. Okay. So place an adjective clause right after the word it describes. Okay. The landscaper wrestled the old lawn mower that coughed and choked through the long grass. Okay. So this sentence makes sense. An old lawn mower can cough and choke. So who is land mower? Someone who uh, cuts the grass. So, so these are some examples you can try. The patient talk about his childhood on the psychiatrist couch. The crowd was the tennis player with shaveling heads. So there are six sentence. You can do this practice. Okay. Vonya Voni put four hamburgers on the counter which she was cooking for dinner. So some uh, examples of misplaced modifier, we have to correct this one, okay? I think I give this as a homework. I will check later. So you also need to watch the placement of modifiers such as almost, even, hardly, often, only. A couple of examples should be enough. Big dog almost ran around 20 times. He nearly ate a, a whole box of treats. So in this both sentence, when he almost ran and nearly ate, nothing happened. He didn't get, uh, quite get around to do either thing. So what intended is the big dog ran around the yard almost 20 times. He ate nearly a whole box of cereals. Okay. I almost kissed William 20 times a day. <laughs> Achha. I nearly napped for 20 minutes during the biology lecture. Or I can write, I napped for nearly 20 minutes during the biology lecture. Nap or money, getting a short rest. Okay. Nadia reads that book. Nadia only reads that book. Nadia reads only that book. So, on a So, actor dekla misplaced modifier. Okay, that was the modifier which are not placed correctly. Another one is dangling modifier. Okay, some examples of dangling modifier sentence. Having been uh, having been thrown in the air, the dog caught the stick. Because the car of correct this sentence. Another example, smashed flat by a passing truck. Big dog snipped at what was left of a half-eaten hamburger. So, So, what is dangling? Dangling modifier. The writer has unintentionally said something that he he didn't intend. Because I didn't intend to mean this, but due to the positioning of my modifier, the meaning of my sentence changed. The dog wasn't thrown into the air. The big dog wasn't even smashed flat. Okay. Smashed uh, smashed flat by a passing truck. So uh, This should not be the way to write this type of sentence. We can work out what is actually mean by a reader shouldn't have to work things out. So how to get, how do you get rid of this? Do the following. 
check for modifying phrases at the beginning of your sentence. So, what things you need to look for a dangling modifier or why you want to see this type of sentence. So, have to first of all, see, check for modifying phrases at the beginning of the sentence. If you find one, underline the first noun. Okay, that follows it. That's the one that is being modified. Okay, we have to look at the noun. Then make sure the modifier and noun go together logically. Okay, if they don't, chances are you are having a dangling modifier. Yes, a noun or uh, a second noun is a logical connection. Not okay. It can be a dangling modifier example. And last of all, rewrite the sentence. So, when the stick was thrown in the air, the dog caught it. Here, the modifying phrase has become a dependent clause. The meaning is clear. When the stick was thrown into the air, the dog caught it. The big dog snipped at what was left of a half-eaten burger that had been smashed. So these two sentences are rewritten. The first sentence is this one. Having been thrown in the air, the dog caught the stick. The correct sentence is When the stick was thrown in the air, the dog caught it. Okay. Next is a smash flat by a passing truck. Big dog sneak at what was left of a hamburger. Money hamburger to get that silo. So, so he didn't stack you have a goose like a day. So, a genius fully. It is not a genius amount of dekta. Initial noun kick kick a ball as a modifying phrases kick as a to security by logical use of chanaki. So the correct sentence that makes sense would be big dog sniff at what was left of a half eaten burger that had been smashed by a passing truck we truck the jet a half eaten burger fell at this low the bar big dog came rushing and took this burger and ate it okay so shaving in front another example shaving in front of the steamy mirror the razor nicked <laughs> its chin Okay, this sentence also doesn't make any sense. What will be the correct sentence? Shaving in front of the steamy mirror. Ed nicked his chin with the razor. Yes, sir. steamy mirror. That's why, that's why he cut his chin by the razor. While Ed was shaving in front of the steamy mirror, he nicked his chin with the razor. Okay, another sentence. So, Busta Bartu so Genisbuli modifier, misplaced modifier, dangling modifier, Genisbuli. <clears throat> While turning over the bacon, hot grease splashed on my arm. What is the correct sentence? While I was turning over the bacon, hot grease splashed on my arm. While turning over the bacon, I was splashed by hot grease. Okay. So, a dangling modifier. We can place a present participle phrase. Present participle phrase, there should be a verb, verb, and that is added to ing. Okay, mainly ing verb. I have to add ing verb. For example, the children ate banana splits, dripping with hot fudge and whipped cream. Okay, so right after the, right before or right after the word it described, we place a present participle phrase. Another example, to place modifiers correctly, avoid, it was say avoid. Okay, avoid this passive voice verb the passive form of verb ki hobe b plus past participle for example typing furiously bet tries finish the essay by 3 pm deadline okay so it comes to the one example okay 
that is uh, creating a passive voice hmm. you need to avoid that that kind of words or phrases from the sentence and by avoiding we will make a logical and logical sentence okay dancing on their hind legs the audience cheered wildly as the elephant parroted by can you can you try this sentence act of the tiger one yes what would be the correct sentence So dancing on the hind legs, last of all. Na pura sentence te bola hamo ke. I can make it. The audience cheered wildly as the elephants parroted by dancing on the hind legs. Man, elephant ta hind legs se upor dance korte silo, right? Yeah. Yeah, thik as. So the name of this chapter is parallel structure. Okay. So first of all, let's see what is the definition. written for parallel of structure in the book so when you write a sentence that list two or more words phrases clauses the elements in the list must be in the same grammatical form so in other words the sentence must have a parallel structure writing that has parallel structure is clearer and easier to follow okay we need to follow this structure while writing So at least the items should be parallel in form and structure. Each phrase should have the same element elements as other phrases in the series, and don't put individual words and full clauses together in the same series. Okay. So this this was the definition. Parallel structure is the same pattern of words to show that two or more ideas have the same level of importance. So there are mainly three rules. Okay. in order to maintain a parallel structure in a sentence okay parallel structure must be joined with conjunction conjunction ki amra jani and or but yet so these are what conjunction so we must join this uh, conjunction with a parallel structured sentence okay so there are some verbs and adverbs for verbs such as singing reading to hike and adverbs such as gracefully clearly and really loud okay so the objective of giving these verbs and adverbs is to give you an idea whether they are parallel or not okay so these verbs and adverbs are not parallel okay why because they are not in the correct so they have different grammatical structure okay for example singing and reading they have the same grammatical structure but to hike to hike does not have the same grammatical structure as the previous verbs same for the adverbs gracefully clearly okay really loud you can know what they don't they also don't have uh, same or parallel grammatical structure so in case of using uh, uh, to make this verb parallel we can change this verb to hike to hiking okay so this all are the ing verbs okay so they have same parallel structure same goes for the uh, adverbs instead of writing really loud we can simply write loudly and it matches or coincides with the previous adverbs 
so when we match this kind of verbs or adverbs it is it can be one example of parallel structure sentence okay after changing this they have the same grammatical structure so we can use this in a sentence the kt really like singing reading or even hiking she sings gracefully clearly and loudly ঠিক আছে এখানে যদি যদি ডিফারেন্ট গ্রামাটিক্যাল স্ট্রাকচার ব্যবহার করতো তাহলে সেটা প্যারাল স্ট্রাকচার সেন্টেন্স হতো না ওকে দ্যাট সেন্টেন্স ওর নট সাউন্ড গুড ওকে সো হোয়েন উই মেক সেন্টেন্স সো উই উইল মেক শিওর দে হ্যাভ দ্য সেম প্যারাল স্ট্রাকচার সেন্টেন্স সো এন্ড অলসো আমরা ফার্স্ট অফ উই সেড ইন রুল ওয়ান যে উই নিড টু ইউজ কনজাংশন while writing the while making a parallel uh, structure sentence so you can use uh, conjunctions such as and or or so she sings gracefully clearly and loudly ar ekhane use korchi amra or she likes singing reading or hiking okay that was rule number 1 now let's study rule number 2 what is rule number 2 a parallel structure that begins with clauses must keep the same clauses do you remember what what is meaning what is the meaning of clause so clause is a group of related words containing subject and verb so any sentence that has a subject and a verb is a clause yes okay, so a parallel structure that begins with clause must keep the same clause so what does this mean okay you can use a conjunction or the beginning of a clause before all the verbs in a sentence or only before the first one so clause this is this is a this is a clause is this a clause let's see that she may play that she may make to sleep so we cannot identify any subject or any verb so what is listed above are not all clauses okay so this is the quick uh, this is the reminder that a clause must contain a subject and a verb but this are some phrases they are not clauses so that she may play that she may make to to sleep to ekhan subject bujha jacche na how can we correct this clause that she may verb is the clause okay so it must be used for all of the clauses so this is the correct clause yeah so how can we use it in a sentence when my friend came over to my house i told her that she may play volleyball with my brother and i that may, that she may make dinner with us and that she that she may sleep at my house okay this is one way of writing and another way should can be, would be like this when my friend came over to my house i told her that she may play volleyball with my brother and i make dinner with uh and uh make dinner with us and sleep over my house okay so when my friend came over to my house i told her that she may play volleyball with my brother so uh, meaning that both these sentences are correct okay so in this sentence that she may is the clause that she is the subject and may play is the verb similarly in this sentence when it, uh, it is giving a justification that there is a clause present hmm. she she is the subject and a verb is there so amra dui ta rule dekhlam rule wale rule 1 e ki bolchilo 
we need to use conjunction and rule 2 the ke bolchilo the parallel structure must also have clauses that means subject and verb the third rule was ki let's see when you are listing items use parallel structure so when listing action they must be in the same tense okay that is the main thing ekta present e lekhlam ekta past e lekhlam in the previous example ing ba past er modhe lekhchilam amra pore abar hiking hiking e change korchi jemon ekhane koi gelo ei je ha rule 1 e thik ache singing reading to hike তো এখানে টেন্স টেন্স ওয়াজ নট কারেক্ট তো সব ভার্ব গুলিতে सेम টেন্স ছিল না সো দিস ইজ অলসো মাস্ট বি চেঞ্জড ওকে ইন রুল নাম্বার 3 রুল নাম্বার 3 তে কি বলছে when you are listing items use parallel structure and they must be in the same tense in order to be parallel ঠিক আছে প্যারালাল মানে কি দে অল আর सेम সো দিস ওয়াজ ंग a non parallel sentence okay jim wants to eat less he exercises more and get more sleep thik ache so ekhane ki hocche rule number 3 use hocche that ekhane same tense byabohar hocche ar rule 1 e ki bolchilo use conjunction and rule 2 the ki bolchilo subject subject ki ekhane jim wants to eat verb pa clause present thik ache Three or two rule at at a time is implemented to make a parallel sentence. Yes, sir. Even now, I am in rule. Ta dekhe sir. These things are nice, so I have included in the slide for better understanding. Another example: walking and to swim are good aerobic exercises. Again, not the same tense for these two words. So how to make parallel walking and swimming are good aerobic exercises. So past tense like lamar ki. So this makes a parallel sentence with same tense rule number three and subject verb are ki conjunction used here. Another example: Try to lose weight slowly, sensibly, and be careful. Because slowly, sensibly, like so, but. Be careful, the or the non-parallel sentence could have also. So be careful, the jagge. I'm carefully looking for them. Okay, to make them in the correct tense, in the same tense, to make it a parallel structure sentence. To be sure, your sentence have parallel structure. Follow this guideline or other guidelines. Make sure that the verb and the list are in the same form and tense. Is a rule I'm going to give you the ball as well. So Jim went to the store bought an exercise mat and he is doing exercises. Yes sir. He is doing the the present did. That's why change is doing to did. Jim went to the store bought an exercise and did exercises. An exercise mat ki ne tar por exercise kollo. Be sure that phrases in the list are parallel in form and wording. For example, if one phrase in a list begins with the preposition, the other should too. If one phrase begins with the word the, the others also should. So more examples. I look at example there. Then we will start practicing. Non-parallel sentence. Avoid exercising on busy streets, near traffic jams, and polluted areas. So, can I? Almost the sentence was same, but here 
polluted areas of Jaga, we add this in here. Avoid exercise on busy streets, near traffic jams, and in polluted areas. Okay, to make it a parallel sentence. So, it identify the correct or difficult. Okay, to, um, we have to make ensure that they are in the same tense. Another example, he left the gym shoes, sweatpants, and the shirt in the gym. Sweet pen, the protector, I can use a diet at course. I am the Chikonagi can a bolasilo. Be sure, uh, AJ, in this last sentence, he will say if one phrase begins with the word the, the other should too. Now, let it would make a parallel sentence. So, it all can a bolse, so or I example to this. The protector sentence should the das. But previously there were not the in this example. So to make this parallel, we need to remember these the rules very carefully. Each list must have single word, short phrases, or clause. Don't put single word and clause together in the same series. When you revise a sentence to use parallel structure, use the comma to separate each element as shown in the example. Let's say but comma this separate person. Okay. Last example. The most effective fitness programs are low impact, informal, and you can do them at home. So each sentence uh, don't know. It is not a parallel sentence. It is a like the very home based. Okay. Notice that a comma separates each item with a list of three or more. Okay. Low, Im low impact, informal, and home based. The word is course instead of this uh, long phrase. Okay. The practice six there from Bivino sentence. For example, Gina works quickly, carefully, and is thorough. So, you can change guru just change kotab. Your task is to change this tense or apply these three rules I've taught you. Okay, in order to identify or make this a parallel uh, sentence. You can give us a rewrite. So, you have to rewrite all the sentences in question one to four in par parallel structure. Okay, what's the word? So parallel structure. Have you understood? Understood. 